Tragedy is omnipresent in the wild. Simply because animals must hunt and kill to eat. But that's how an ecosystem is fine-tuned. If you're curious about how predators hunt their prey, we have some amazing videos to show you. So sit tight because we're getting started. Number 15, wild dog attack Nyala and sable antelope. At a picnic site, wildlife enthusiasts were hearing a chattering noise down the river, and it turned out to be a wild dog chasing a large male Nyala bull. He had clearly been running for a while and decided to turn and try to fight the dog. Slowly but surely, more and more dogs began to arrive, which is usually the case, and within five minutes, there were eight dogs. It was the rawest death onlookers had ever seen as the wild dogs were eating the animal alive. Most predators kill their prey first and then begin eating, but it's not the case with wild dogs. After 45 minutes, a female Nyala came down to the riverbed, saw the wild dogs, and took off. The dogs instinctively chased her, but eventually gave up and came back to finish their kill. They already had a meal fit for a king, so they didn't need to kill the queen too. This Nyala has a nice set of nice horns, but it's not enough for the animal to fend off a pack of hungry wild dogs as they slowly exhaust the animal until it doesn't have much energy left before they strike and eventually eat it alive. These wild dogs come face to face with a sable antelope. When the dogs approach, the antelope is ready to charge with its horns. The dogs are apprehensive and approach this hunt carefully until they finally don't take a chance assaulting the antelope and walk away. Number 14, wolves attack sheep. A lone wolf manages to snatch a lamb in the middle of the night. As the wolf pulls on the lamb to try and drag it somewhere where it can kill it, the animal resists, but it may not be enough to survive unless help is on the way. These wolves show no remorse when they ambush a bunch of sheep in their enclosure. The wolves are hungry, and when hunger hits, they break all the rules. The sheep are afraid, and they bleat for help as loudly as they can, but no one comes. The wolves kill a few sheep and eat their prey. A wolf on the prowl chases a flock of sheep and manages to snatch one of the sheep by the collar. The sheep battles hard, but it's not enough to save it from its predicament. Number 13, Badger Hunts Prairie Dog. An overweight badger is seen chasing a prairie dog, and if the prairie dog keeps running this way, the badger is probably going to have a heart attack before it catches up to the little animal. Ah, just in time, the badger makes the kill before getting a stroke. I think this badger should sign up at a gym as quickly as possible or call Weight Watchers because it has a serious weight problem. A sneaky badger mom spots a prairie dog and goes for the kill. The badger can be seen retrieving the dead animal from the ground and carrying it in its mouth. Watch this badger hunt and catch a prairie dog for lunch. Nature can sometimes be harsh, but every animal has its own way of surviving. Sometimes the hunt isn't successful, but these animals must continue to hunt if they want to survive. Number 12, Snapping Turtle Attacks Duck. This sneaky turtle grabs a duckling right under its mother's eyes. It happens so quickly that mama duck is not able to react fast enough and she loses one of her ducklings. Turtles are expert predators and when they have a prey targeted, they usually don't miss. When a snapping turtle tries to snatch a duckling, mama duck goes bananas and begins to flap her wings and splash water all over the place. I guess she tries scaring the turtle away, but I'm not sure it had the results she was looking for. It looks like the turtle is not phased one bit. This duck struggles to exit the water when it is attacked by a snapping turtle that is nearly two feet long. The duck's friends watch helplessly, but don't do much to help the duck and see their friend become turtle lunch in the process. This turtle is underwater, holding on to its prey by one leg. The bird tries to free itself by pushing forward, but the turtle holds on tight. I'm just wondering how long this bird can hold its breath underwater. Number 11, Bear Hunts Elk. This grizzly bear was snuffling around a shrub thicket. A moment later, it ducked in and onlookers heard a high-pitched shriek. When the bear came out on the other side with the elk in its mouth, 
everyone watching was amazed. The bear carried the dead animal as if it was a toy and happily ran around with it in its grasp as if he was showing his newly acquired trophy to all intentionally. When a bear tries grabbing a bull elk on Slopey Hill, the predator misses, falls, and tumbles, which gives the elk the time to run into the water and see itself carried by the current away from the bear. Bears are great swimmers, but it seems like this bear isn't interested in getting wet, even if it means eating a healthy meal. After a long chase down a hill, a bear finally catches up to an elk and takes it down. The action happens in the distance, so it's difficult to tell how long it takes the bear to kill his prey, but he can be seen digging into the animal, so whether it's still alive or not is unimportant. Number 10. Crocodile Attacks Zebra Zebras are a favorite meal of lions and crocodiles, so the chunk of flesh missing on the butt of the zebra in our thumbnail could well be the result of an altercation with a crocodile as it crossed a river or some lions that just got a piece of the animal during a chase without making the kill. The footage you see in this video was taken from a hot air balloon as a zebra runs out of the water before a crocodile can snatch it, but it doesn't get any better once the zebra is out of the water because it is attacked by a couple of hungry lions and this time it's not as lucky. What a life. This was truly an incredible show of strength and determination. A massive crocodile had the zebra anchored by its hind legs while two more crocodiles worked the head. This zebra was having none of it and continued to fight off the two crocodiles by biting them and knocking their attacks away with a series of well-placed blocks, all the while pulling forward inch by inch. The massive crocodile at the back managed to spin the zebra in the infamous death roll, but with no crocodiles getting a grip in the front, the zebra just spun around, shook off the horror, and continued to fight, eventually freeing itself with a couple of cool scars to show its friends. Number 9. Snow Leopard Hunting Mountain Goat Snow leopards are known as ghosts of the mountains in many parts of the world due to their ability to blend in and out. The big cats have honed their adaptation to their harsh alpine environment to the point where they are nearly impossible to spot against a rocky backdrop. A dramatic video from India's Himalayas recently surfaced, demonstrating that even the most reclusive cats occasionally appear and put on a spectacular hunting performance. Its massive paws function as crampons for climbers. Their claws provide extra traction on the slick rock. The snow leopard's agility allows it to catch two large mammals per month on average, such as the mountain goat, which has adapted to living on these cliffs. This overhead view shows a snow leopard in pursuit of blue sheep. We could see how agile the snow leopard is and how he is able to chase animals on tips of cliffs without ever falling. It's quite impressive. It was a sight to behold for the people on location shooting this video as a snow leopard walking along the ridge approached a small herd of Uriel so it could get into striking distance without the herd having any clue of its presence. The entire process of the snow leopard emerging from its resting spot behind the rocks to eventually chasing one of the animals down a dangerous mountain with rocky terrain lasted about four hours, which you could see in this video in just a minute. What a spectacular chase this was, and the speed at which the animals were running was unbelievable. Imagine seeing this in while on location. It must have been mind-blowing to see for the people there. Number 8. Hyena Hunts Kudu a hyena breaks this kudu's leg as it tries to take it down in a water hole. When the rest of the clan arrives, the kudu is disemboweled in minutes and almost nothing remains of the animal after the food fest is over. Kudus are not small, but this lone hyena doesn't care as it bites on this kudu's rear end. The kudu is trying to pull away, but the hyena holds on tight. The hyena takes down this kudu all by itself, which is very impressive. A single hyena brought down this massive male kudu, an incredible display of strength, skill, and perseverance by gripping and hanging onto its upper tail, eventually causing it to succumb to pain and exhaustion. In less than a minute, there were three hyenas, and a few minutes later, there were 12. The kudu remained alive for a short time after the hyenas gutted it from behind. They sliced through every piece of meat and crunched through every bone, leaving only the horns. I have a newfound respect for these creatures. I have never witnessed anything so brutal, yet so ecologically necessary. Number 7. Fox Hunt Squirrel 
The fox in this video can be seen prowling in a residential neighborhood, and when the animal spots a small squirrel, the fox pounces on the little rodent and easily makes the kill. This sneaky fox flanked a squirrel and demolished it instantly. Honestly, I don't think the squirrel saw anything coming. The fox struck clean and fast, and that was the end of the little rodent. This fox has experience with squirrels feeding on sunflower seeds at a bird feeding area. He watches the squirrel and calculates his attack perfectly as he goes for the kill when the squirrel is bent down searching for more seeds and does not see the fox coming until boom, the predator strikes his prey with a killer blow. This squirrel is fast, but the fox is faster, and after a few seconds, he grabs the squirrel and the game is over. Because squirrels can run so fast, make quick turns, and climb trees, the fox had to be extremely fast to accomplish this. Number 6. Wolverine Attacks Reindeer Reindeer are huge animals, but it doesn't stop this wolverine from jumping on this reindeer's head and trying to bring it down during a major snowstorm. Not only does the reindeer have to worry about the cold, but it also must deal with a maniac attacking it. Depending on the prey's physical condition and the wolverine's skill at maneuvering, some individuals can become proficient hunters and kill young and adult ungulates such as caribou and even moose. In local folklore, the wolverine is a link to the spirit world and a cross between the bear and the wolf. In truth, it's a huge weasel. Its bulk helps to conserve body heat and broadens its menu. It's so big and powerful, it can even bring down an adult caribou like the one in this video. Wolverines can eat more in one sitting than most other predators, which is why they are also known as gluttons. Being gluttonous here is an effective strategy. It's wise to eat all you can, when you can, because it's not always the case, especially in the dead of winter. And when even a glutton can't eat more, it stores what's left for later in the surrounding deep freeze. This wolverine has made a kill, and it's quietly enjoying it in the forest. There doesn't seem to be any competition out there vying for this deer carcass, so the wolverine has it all to himself and doesn't need to defend it for the time being, of course. Number 5. Mink Attacks Snake a woman and her 11-year-old daughter were hiking with their dog at a state wildlife management area near their home when the daughter reported seeing something move in the grass. So, with her new camera, she was able to capture something unique, whether on nature trail or not. It just goes to show that perseverance and patience pays off. A mink had snatched a snake and it wasn't a small snake but the mink was pulling the snake towards it and attacking it until the snake was no longer alive. Onlookers saw a mink run across the road ahead of them as they walked down a country road. The mink had cornered what appeared to be a northern water snake about 24 inches long by the time they approached it. They watched as the mink chewed on the snake's tail and then went under the water snake to get to the head. The snake was killed by the mink after repeated attempts to pull it out from under a rock but by then, the snake's body was firmly stuck between the rocks. The mink looked at them every now and then, but quickly returned to his task. It looks like this snake slithered into enemy territory, and after being spotted by a feisty mink, the snake can kiss his life goodbye, unless a miracle happens, but seeing how the mink has already ripped the snake's head off, nothing can save it. Number 4. Python Attacks Goat Just as this python is about to kill a goat, a man hits the snake with a large stick, scaring the reptile away. The goat is set free and flees. These villagers really seem to care about their goat, so they risk their own lives to save it. This is one lucky goat. With a large python wrapped around its body, this goat still manages to get up and stand. I'm quite sure this would be regarded as an amazing feat. Now, if someone could please help the goat so it comes out of there alive, instead of filming it being killed, that would be nice. This snake drags a goat out of the woods and begins to devour it. The goat has already died, most likely because of the snake's attack. Consider how long this snake is. It starts swallowing the goat whole. Number 3. Jackal Attacks Impala In Kenya's Maasai Mara, two jackals kill an impala. It took them three tries and more than 10 minutes, but they succeeded and the family later joined the party. It's never easy for jackals to make a kill. They usually come in after the fact and take whatever scraps are left. Some jackals may gather to scavenge a carcass or to hunt larger prey, such as antelope, gazelles, and livestock, but normally hunt alone or in pairs. 
They have been known to take larger prey such as adult impala as you can see in this video as they hunt the animal in the water and drown it before they drag it out as fast as they can to eat it. These two jackals hunt a young Thompson's gazelle and I'm kind of surprised the gazelle doesn't fight more. She kind of falls to the ground while the jackals tear flesh from her body. The scavengers begin by trying to rip out the gazelles behind. Most scavengers like hyenas and even wild dogs use this approach. I guess it's the easiest part to carve into because there's already a hole. Number two, raccoon hunting fish. A raccoon is seen fishing in a swamp and he manages to grab some fish, one of which is quite large. As he holds the fish in his hands, the fish tries to wiggle himself out of his mess, but the raccoon eventually pulls him out of the water and hammers the last nail into his coffin. A raccoon is seen handling a crayfish in this video, fondling it with his hands. It's obvious he's prepping it for dinner. Raccoons eat fish, which may surprise you. The water makes their hands more sensitive, allowing them to identify and grab fish as well as move quickly. Their teeth are long and thin, with claws that help them quickly break up fish. Raccoons enjoy water and frequently visit ponds, rivers, and lakes in the wilderness. Their sensitive front paws are drawn to the water. Given the abundance of fish in lakes and ponds, it's reasonable to conclude that fish are a good source of protein for the masked thieves. A young raccoon looking for crayfish finds some as he can be seen enjoying every single one he finds. While raccoons will consume small mammals and birds, they will opt for simpler prey if it is available. Nuts, berries, bugs, and eggs are some of their favorite foods. If their den site is located near water, they can also capture fish, shellfish, reptiles, and amphibians. Raccoons won't go deep into the water to catch fish. Instead, they prefer to work in shallower areas. Number one, vultures eating deer. After a hunt, the vulture cleanup crew flies in to demolish what's left of a red stag in Portugal. These are griffin vultures, and they are highly efficient scavengers. They devour whatever is left of the animal in 60 seconds. How's that for an efficient cleaning service? I'm not sure if this deer is a roadkill or if it was killed by an animal, but the vultures show up nonetheless because it's their job. Come to think of it, I'm quite sure it is a roadkill because the deer is intact, so even if a predator had killed it, it would have at least ripped out a few chunks of flesh before abandoning it this way. It doesn't change a thing for the vultures because either way, they're going to rip through that carcass like famished beasts, just that this time, it's a meal fit for a king instead of the usual scraps they're used to. While driving in Maasai Mara, wildlife enthusiasts found a gazelle trying to help her calf. She eventually gave up and left the vultures with their prize. It's tough being a prey in the savanna. People frequently regard vultures as a nuisance or a sign of death, but the birds are an important part of the natural ecosystem. These scavenger birds clean up dead animal matter from the environment that may contain harmful microbes and diseases by opportunistically feeding on whatever remains from other animals' kills. However, because of human activity, many species are in steep decline around the world, which may encourage disease to spread. Throughout human history, the vulture has played an important role. It has historically been a common sight on the battlefield, feeding on the bodies of fallen soldiers or civilians. According to some African beliefs, the bird has a supernatural ability to detect dead or dying prey. To avoid predators, some vultures will vomit up their meal. Why they do this is not entirely clear. The vomit could help the bird lose weight before taking off. Another theory is that it temporarily distracts the predator, allowing the bird to flee quickly. Vultures alternate between periods of relative abundance, gorging themselves on as much food as they can eat, and extended periods of rest and sleep as they digest their meal. Life is rough for all the animals living in the wild, but after seeing these videos, I think it's safe to say that it's slightly rougher for the animals being hunted than the ones doing the hunting. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? And well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be a part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thanks for watching and see you next time.